Hello, my name is Zugo. I'm the consultant for Porto Coffee Week. I don't have a favorite coffee ever. I have um, some coffees that I remind because of the situation itself, the experience. And I really uh, will not forget a coffee from Colombia, from a fazenda named Sofia. It's the name of my wife. And it was the first coffee, uh, specialty coffee that I ever drank in filter. So it, it was like a... a it's unbelievable because you're used to drink like bitter and really shallow coffee. And when you experience that coffee full of flavors, aromas, it's, it's unbelievable. So right now, probably it's not the best coffee in the world, but it is one of the coffees that I will remember for sure. And then I have some coffee farmers that I respect more than others because I know more than others. But I don't believe in like really good coffee from Ethiopia, really good coffee in Brazil. I believe in people and the more the people give to the coffee, the, the better the coffee is. And I would die for filtered coffee. I'll drink liters and gallons of coffee, filter coffee only, but I really love the, um, the mechanics of doing an espresso. It's quite hard, but it's quite challenging. So I really love to drink a good espresso also, but filter coffee, it's my, my drink always. I would not consider it a rise, I would consider it um, a type of... Mm, it's the, the, <clears throat> it's the blessed, best place to be in, in specialty coffee. You, if you understand more the quality of the coffee, if you understand that people are, are giving more to the coffee, then they are producing really um, well the, the beans, the farmer is growing like they, they are being super precise, the, the, the process, everything. And then the roaster then take care of everything, the, the humidity, the, the roast level, the, the barista that measures the, the temperature. That's what makes specialty coffee so, so challenging and so powerful. Because the other types of, of coffees, the commodity coffee, it's, it's, it's too simple, come on. It's like putting coffee in a, in a porta filter and push a button and that's it. There is no connection, there is no feeling about it. And that's what um, makes specialty coffee growing so much. People are starting to realize that specialty coffee, it's more about the, the how can I make things better? And that's why I think it's so popular right now. I want to see in the future more people getting together um, with a common value that it's good coffee. I like light roast, really like light roast, like tea-like, but there are some people that like um, more darker roasts and that's okay, more syrupy, more body. I think there is a place for everybody. I, I think that roasters don't have to be so afraid of roasting a little bit dark or a little bit less dark or more light. Um, I think that people are, are always in one way or another. What I'm trying to say is that people are, are always thinking that commodity is good and specialty coffee is bad or specialty coffee is good, commodity is, is whatever. Um, there is place for everybody. The only thing that I want to see in the future is to um, take care more of the, the farmers and believe more in the farmers, produce well better coffee with less defects. And then it's up to you, roast it really dark, whatever, do it in espresso, do it in a filter, but understand the product, it's my, my, my wish in the future.